Hi, welcome to the Quarantine Artist. So today's fun painting at home technique is going to involve a uh, paper towel or toilet paper tubes, a uh, potato masher, three bowls. I have two small uh, saucers and a little bit bigger bowl for the e potato masher to fit in. Inside the bowls, I put about at least three tablespoons of a liquid dish soap. I use Dawn in the center, then put in maybe a cup of, quarter cup of water, and then added about five, six drops of food coloring. You can also do this with watercolor paints if you have them. Phthalo blue would work for the blue and a green. I guess it just depends what you have laying around that you'd like to use. Now as far as my orange red color, I started with just some yellow and then um, added some red to it because it wasn't showing up, it was a little light. So what's fun is this is making bubbles. So if you have a straw, that's kind of fun too. Um, so I'm just going to lightly, let's see if you can see it blow in the bubbles and hopefully it will stay there for a second. There we go. And I'm going to switch to a clean piece of watercolor paper, but feel free to uh, use whatever you have. And, and I just cut off um, some, a piece of the end of the tube. And then I'm going to dip this in and press down. And it kind of, if you do it quicker with the bubbles on there, you can sometimes catch the bubbles on the earth and it'll draw. So there's no rhyme or reason to the way that I'm bubbling today. And I kind of like some space between them because when they start drying, they can become blobs. It's just great activity for um, anybody. Kids, it can't hurt them. And they could spend probably hours making different sort of paintings. Now you could use your other tools as well to um, draw in the earth. And that's, that's kind of looking kind of cool. I'm dipping into the potato masher and just kind of adding that in some spots. that back and then I do have a tool I only have my chopstick with me but it, it's just a wooden uh, bamboo tool and um, you know I can kind of draw with that as well just really kind of fun and maybe make some organic leaps on there Sometimes these wooden surfaces will um, pull out the color as well. But you could probably take even a piece of heavy duty cardboard and cut it and drag it along its side. Um, and if you have matchbooks, those might work too. Um, something that will you know, just give you that. So you can't really see it from there, but I did put it in. When it completely dries, I can always take my coffee or my black tea stain and I could add some more organic. So look for my posting when it dries and I'll try and do something else with it. I hope you enjoy it and don't forget that you can make more bubbles too and try and capture those on your little design. Have fun creating. I'm Elaine with the Quarantine Artists.